Hi students, I'm Vipshrek from Vidyavaru and in today's session I'm going to talk about ratio and proportion. So I'm going to teach you the smartest, simplest and shortest methods for solving ratio and proportion questions. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while subscribing, make sure that you press the bell icon also because that way you'll get the notifications of all our videos and we keep publishing videos all the time. As you can see, this is a complete English medium videos. So that are students from South India, students from Kerala, Telangana, even students from Northeast, they should not feel any difficulty because uh, we know they face some difficulty when we speak in Hindi. So what you need to do is uh, watch the video till the end because I'm going to take up some very interesting past year questions. Let's get started. Let's look at the first question. Let's see what it says. Read the question with me. Total cost of making a toy is three times the cost of material. So there is some raw material, sure. And the total cost is three times the cost of raw material. The cost of material changes in the ratio of 5 is to 12. The material is changing. The cost of the material is changing in the ratio of 5 is to 12. And the production cost students, it is changing in the ratio of 4 is to 5. Find the total cost of the, of the toy now cost of the toy was rupees 6 earlier we have to find out the total cost of the toy now so now let's look at how to find out the answer we have been given that uh, the ratio of the material the ratio of the material is uh, changing earlier students earlier the ratio was something now it is different and uh, what is it 5 is to 12 yes it is 5 is to 12 sure and what about the production cost what is the ratio the production cost students is changing in the ratio 4 is to 5 it is changing in the ratio 4 is to 5 we have to find out the cost of the toy now the cost of the toy earlier was rupees 6 the total cost the total cost includes material cost and the production cost the total cost was rupees 6 earlier and we have been given that the cost of the material, the cost of the material is one third. The total cost is three times the cost of material. So if total cost was rupees six, the cost of the material students, the cost of the material will be one third. That means the cost of the material was rupees two earlier. Sure. Now let's look at the ratio. If if the cost was, if the cost of the material was 5 rupees earlier, now it has become 12. Now it has become 12. So 5 becomes 12. So if the cost was 1 rupee earlier, students, if the cost was 1 rupee earlier, simple unitary method, then now it becomes what? Now it becomes 12 by 5. But we have been given that the cost of the material earlier was 2 rupees. It was not 1 rupee, it was Two rupees so for two rupees it will be what simple unitary method 12 by 5 into 2 that means 24 upon 5 that is the cost of the material now students that is the cost of the material now sure the total cost was rupees 6 earlier out of which the material cost out of which the material cost was rupees 2 that means the production cost Students, the production cost was rupees 4. Earlier, the production cost was rupees 4. Look at the ratio in which the production cost has changed. The production cost has changed in the ratio 4 is to 5. That means if the production cost was rupees 4 earlier, it will become 5 now. And yes, the production cost earlier was rupees 4. So now this 4 has become 5. Students, now this 4 has become 5. So if I add, if I add the cost of the material, which is 24 by 5 now, with 5 rupees, because 5 rupees is the production cost now. So what will it be? 24 by 5 plus 5, it will be, 5 will be the LCM. Students, 24 plus 25, it will be, what? It will be 49 upon 5 rupees, 49 upon 5 rupees and if you want to calculate it further it will be something like 9 rupees 80 paisa yes 9.8 rupees students the answer is what the answer is 9.8 rupees so without assuming any variables any x y a b c 
I have uh, taught you how to solve the question. Now let's increase the level. Let's look at the next question, which is of a higher level. Let's see. Let's read it once. Total expense. Students, the total expense for conducting a show comprises two parts. There is a fixed part and there is another part which depends on the number of artists. So in this show, we are calling some artists. We are inviting some artists. They are performing. Okay. The expense is rupees 650 for 7 artists and rupees 970 for 11 artists. That means when, when we call 7 artists, what is the total expense? The total expense of conducting the show is rupees 650. When we call 11 artists, what is the total cost of conducting the show? The total cost of conducting the show is 970. We have to find out the expense when we call 18 artists in the show. Students, you have to understand one thing carefully. And if you understand that, the question will be very easy to comprehend. There is a fixed component. There is a fixed component and it does not change. The fixed component, the fixed cost is not going to change. So whatever change, whatever change is happening, it is because of the variable component, which is depending on the number of artists. Sure. So when the number of artists was seven, when the number of artists was 7, the cost was 650. When the number of artists becomes 11, the cost becomes 970. So when we increase, students, when we increase the number of artists from 7 to 11, the cost goes up from 650 to what? It becomes 970. Look at the question. It becomes 970. So whatever increase, Whatever increase is there, it is because of the number of artists. It is because of this variable cost. It is because of the cost associated with increasing the number of artists. So how many artists have we increased? We have increased four artists. Sure. And the cost has increased by how much? Students, 970 is getting subtracted from 970. What does it turn out to be? It turns out to be students. It turns out to be 320. Sure. So when we increase the number of artists by four, the variable cost increases by 320. That means per artist, per artist for one artist, the variable cost is what? 320 by four. That means the variable cost per artist is rupees 80. The variable cost which changes with the number of artists that is rupees 80 for every artist sure now what happens what happens look at uh, the question when we called seven artists the total cost was 650 but what was the variable cost when we called seven artist students the variable cost was 80 into 7 because per artist we have to invest 80 rupees so for seven artists, how much do we have to invest? 18 to seven, that means 560. Sure, that is the variable component. That is the variable part. Sure, that was the variable cost. Now the total cost was 650 because we have been given that there is a fixed part. Look at it carefully. There is a fixed part. So the fixed part was how much? Students, the total cost was 650 in case of seven artists out of which the variable cost of calling the artist was 560 so 560 will be subtracted from 650 we are left with 90 rupees so this 90 was the fixed part it does not change even if you call one artist it remains the same so we have to find out the expense in case of 18 artists sure so there is 90 rupees, which is the fixed cost. Sure, 90 rupees will be the fixed cost students. And there will be a variable cost for 18 artists. What will be the variable cost? Very simple, 18 into 18 into 80 because per artist, the variable cost is rupees 80. So 18 into 8, what does it turn out to be? 8, 8 is 64, it becomes 1, 4, 4, 0, yes. 1440 that is the variable cost so when you add when you add the fixed cost and the variable cost 1440 plus 90 
it will give you what students it will give you a total of 1530 so the answer is what the answer is 1530 that is the total cost which is there when you are calling 18 artists sure and with that i'm coming to the last question in today's discussion and you have to watch this question as well because this question is going to be of a higher level now and uh, if you like our method of teaching if you like our style of teaching then do become a part of our live online classes the numbers are given on your screen you can contact our representatives right away and you can opt for our live online cl classes along with our video courses in fact study material is also provided with all our courses so believe me once you join us you do not require anything else to crack the exam all you require is our guidance and hard work and that will do the trick so call our representatives right away anyway a mason recruits 25 helpers so how many helpers are there students 25 helpers are there for a job for which he receives rupees 27500 so he gets 27500 for the job he keeps 20% of the amount and distributes the rest to the helpers ratio of women to men ratio of women to men is 3 is to 2 their wages are in the ratio 4 is to 5 we have to find out the wages for each woman helper sure now let's first of all look at 27500 that was that was the total money which he received but he keeps 20% for himself he distributes 80% he distributes 80% to these helpers so students 80% 80% in terms of fraction what does it turn out to be it turns out to be 4 by 5 80% is nothing but 4 by 5 so 4 fifth of 4 fifth of 27500 is being distributed to these helpers so when you find out of course uh, 550 yes uh, when 5 divide 27 500 we get 550 515 into 4 it will be 22 220 yes 22000 so students 22000 rupees are going to be distributed among women and men sure 22000 rupees are going to be distributed so what is the ratio of the number the ratio of the number of women and men the ratio is what the ratio is 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 and there is a ratio in terms of wage rate also their wage rate is in the ratio 4 is to 5 look at it the wage is in the ratio 4 is to 5 so 4 is to 5 sure that will tell you students now these ratios will tell you how much is the total money being given to women and how much is the total money being given to men so out of this 22000 some money is going to men some money is going to women so what is the ratio let's see the women are in the ratio women are uh, the men and men they are in the ratio 3 is to 2 their wages are in the ratio 4 is to 5 so the total money given to women the total money given to women is 3 into 4 that means 12 parts the total money given to men is what 2 into 5 that means 10 parts so 12 is to 10 12 is to 10 this ratio represents the total money that is going to women and the total money that is going to men that means to this 22000 students this 22000 is getting distributed in the ratio 12 is to 10 so 12 parts to women and 10 parts to men very simple 12 parts to women 10 parts to men so what is the total what is the total 12 and 10 what is the total the total is 22 parts so 22 parts is equal to 22000 sure so now it is very easy one part is equal to 1000 one part is equal to 1000 so what is the total money being given to women the total money being given to women is 12 parts So twelve parts will become what? Twelve parts will become twelve thousand. That is the total money that women are getting. But we have to find out the money that is being paid to each woman helper. One woman helper gets how much? 
a total of 12,000 is being given to women. So we will have to find out the total number of women first. So the total number of helpers are 25. Students, the total number of helpers are 25. And out of these 25, out of these 25, what happens? For every three women, there are two men. That means if women are three parts, men are two parts. For every three women, there are two men. So what is the total? Five parts. Five parts is equal to what students? Five parts is equal to 25. What is the total number of helpers? The total number of helpers is 25. So one part becomes equal to what? One part becomes equal to five. And how many women are there? Women are in the ratio three parts. Women are in the ratio three parts. That means three fives are 15. So we have a total of 15 women and 10 men. How many men are there? Two into five, 10. Sure. So 15 women and 10 men. What amount did we pay to all the women? In total, to all the women in total, we paid 12,000. So one woman gets how much? 12,000 upon 15 because we have 15 women. So 12,000 upon 15, what will it turn out to be? 15 eggs are 120. Yes, students, it will turn out to be 800 rupees. 800 rupees is being paid to each woman helper. So if you have liked our video, please press the like button for sure. And don't forget to share it with your friends. God bless all of you.